Yes. Yeah. Ah! What the heck? God, I knocked over my freaking Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Tower. Yo guys, it's Woody Run. Welcome to Moth House. I don't know much about this game, but then again, when do I ever know much about these games? There's a moth crawling on the uh, title of the game. All right, that's about all I know about it. Let's go. Moths. Moths like the light, so hopefully there's a lot of light and it's not dark like most horror games are. Actually, I do know, I think this game is all in black and white. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing to inform you that I am leaving far from here on an expedition. Unfortunately, I can't provide a location. I know this may come as a surprise to you, but please understand that this decision was not an easy one. If in a year you do not receive a letter from me, it means that I will not return. I hope that this will not happen. But if I still do not get in touch, then I have a request to you. In the attached letter, there's a list with species of moths. Come to my house and catch them. Then get those moths out of the house. Set them free with all my love. Your dad. Dad? What the heck are you talking about? What the heck is getting specific species of moths out of your house gonna do? Ooh, scared me. Okay, I lit matches and you can put them out with F. I wonder if that means that they go out on their own after a certain amount of time. Maybe we'll see the uh, matchstick burn down slowly. Ooh, the movement's very fast. And I have a sprint. Wow. Hello. Yeah, it looks like it's burning down the uh, matchstick. Cool. Ah, yes, control is crouched. It should always be on control. Never put, put it on C. Hello, moth and moths. Do I need to get these moths? How am I sure that these aren't the right moths? Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. Use the mouse wheel to change item. Oh, oh, I only have one item, it seems. <laughs> Let's go catch these moths. Got him. Um, I, I guess I got two American dagger moths and two leopard moths? Oh. <laughs> okay, I guess there's only two uh, kinds right here. That's so weird. This is odd, but I like it. It's unique. Okay. Let's go catch us some moths. Give me a moth. Give me the moths. Give me all the moths. That's a big moth right there. Whoa, give me, give me all the moths, man. Yeah, let's go. Get the moths off the wall. Give, give, give me those over there. Give me them. I don't know how I'm holding all these moths. I got too many to get every single moth in this place. If I catch every single moth and get it out of the house, then <laughs> if I get every single moth and get it out of the house, then I get, I'm guaranteed to get the specific ones out of the house that he wants. Wow, I actually caught them all. And they're gonna be able to look at them all. I got 58 and 35 of, of uh, American Dagger and Leopard Moth. I got one Cecropia Moth. Oh, I got 10 Flight Spotted Forester Moths too. Okay. Ew, look at that one in the bottom left. Ew, Creatonotos Genghis Moth. Ew, this is freaky. Ew, ew, I don't like it. I don't want to see that thing land on me. Hello, scary moth picture. Pick it up. What? I guess we're about to figure it out. Moths emit ultrasound as a way of communicating with other moths and detecting their environment. This ultrasound is typically measured in kilohertz, but the average value of around 30 to 60 kilohertz. The moth produces the ultrasound by vibrating special organs in its body called timbles. Interestingly, there are devices called bat detectors that can capture these ultrasounds, which can help in monitoring moth populations and their behavior. This is because bats, which are natural predators of moths, also use ultrasound to locate their prey. Okay, how does that help me out? 55? 71? Guess there's a lot of moths in there. What does this do? Yes, I figured that out long ago. How to, how to use the matches. TV. Why does interacting with the TV make the duck go, go, go quack? Goose, excuse me. All right, get them all, get all, get all the moths, get all the moths, get all the moths. What's with dad and his weird obsession with moths, man? I wonder if the moths got him. Don't, do moths eat people? Or not, not people, but like, like if there was a dead body, wouldn't a moth eat it? I don't know how moths work. I'm not a moth expert. Hey, we got some new ones here. Cool. Oh, hello. Got some gross moths all over the food. Oh, this reminds me. One time in my old house, I don't know how it happened, but there was these dust moths. Like a couple got in and I, I never bothered to kill them because, you know, they're, they're just moths. I didn't want to kill them. And then that house got freaking infested with moths. And when I say infested, what is this? No recipes cook? What about cooking? When I say infested, I mean like if you just look down the room like that, you would just see nonstop flickering because there was just a million freaking 
Moths. I had to buy a trap for them, basically, and it eventually worked. It took a while, though. The Luna moth is a species of moth found in North America. It is known for its striking appearance with large, pale green wings that have a distinctive shape and pattern. The wingspan of the Luna moth can reach up to 11 centimeters, making it one of the largest moths in North America. The caterpillars of the species are also quite striking. With bright green bodies and long spiny tails, the Luna moth is primarily active at night and feeds on the nectar of flowers. Why did I need to know that? Oh, hello. Thanks. Smacked it open with my freaking net. I thought I'd have to change the crowbar to do that. <laughs> Alright, moth, 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 moth. You enjoy the moth facts, everyone? I sure am. Woohoo! Like, comment, and subscribe if you love moths. Boy, howdy, I love moths. Okay. Save recipe! What are we making? Still missing some moths here. Should I, should I just go? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back. It's a massive house, by the way. Just, just wanna say that. Get that out of the way. Hello. Not enough ingredients. Why are we cooking with moths? Why are we cooking with moths? Why did I say it like that? What the heck? Why are we cooking with moths? Get all the moths out of here. Get all the moths out of here. Maybe you actually should have captured all those moths that were in that area at the beginning. Seems like they might kind of be useful for something. I don't know. Do I have enough now? Why am I cooking moths? I don't get it. This game is so weird. It's unique. I like it, but it's freaking weird. God, look at all those moths. Imagine just putting your hand in there. Hey, you see that white one? Those, those white triangular ones? That looks a lot like the dust moth infestation that I had. The leopard moth, top right. Don't allow leopard moths into your house at 3 a.m. They'll infest your freaking entire house. That's really cool. I think it's like, yeah, it looks like it's got the different species on the wall. And it's keeping track of it perfectly. It's really cool. Very odd mechanic, but but it's 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 an odd mechanic that's done very well. I don't I don't see why I would need the 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 kilohertz thingy, the ultrasound detector. I mean, I could just I could just walk around and find the moths. It's not like they're that hard to find. Another recipe. Woohoo! I love eating moths. Apparently, I am lost. I don't know where I am. Oh, looks familiar. I think this is the kitchen right here. Okay, I think it circles around. Um, cook. Take. Why do I have this? What is this for? <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, hey, bathroom. New species of moths in here? Ew! Ew, it's the gross moths! Ew! Get them out of here. Disgusting. I guess they live in your bathroom at 3 a.m. I don't know. Some moths gross me out. I don't know why. Wait. I can't make the other recipe now. What the heck? And hey, yo! I am completely lost. Don't know where I am. I'm at the beginning. Okay, because that's where the log door is. Um, there was another... Oh, yeah, right here, right here. I didn't go down here, I guess. Needs a key. Okay, the other one was locked, but that one just needs a key. Guess I gotta do something over in this area where it circles around. Ew! Ew! Look at that! It's freaking gross! Wait, maybe I should be checking drawers. No, never mind. Never mind, I'm an idiot. I'm a dang old idiot. What is this? Hey, Paul. It turns out that the lingua moths has many abilities besides speaking human language. They're capable of blank. So I have to report that I'm going to blank. I'm not sure I'll be back from there, but in the name of science, I have to check it out. I grow new types of moths in the basement. I hope that while I am away, the house will not rot from a large number of different moths. Just in case, I'll block the entrance. If something happens, then blank. All right, dad breeding moths like a weirdo, a loser. Dad's a loser. Like, comment, subscribe if uh, this guy's dad is a loser. I can't stop saying it. I don't know why I'm stuck on this like, comment, subscribe joke. I'm going to turn a corner and there's going to be a gigantic moth somewhere. Oh, here's the basement. Go down here. God, freaking scared me that time. Yes. yes. Ah! What the heck? God, I knocked over my freaking Reese's peanut butter cup tower. These things. What's happening? Oh, was that a cocoon? <laughs> what? Okay. I guess a giant moth attacked me, right? Ew. Ew. It's disgusting. This is gross, Dad. Why are you obsessed with moths? What do I got? I'm still missing a few. Or I'm still missing seven, seven different species. Yeah, these freaking white triangular ones look exactly like the ones that infested my house. Oh, I hate it. It's taking me back to a darker time. I doubt I need to catch every single one of these, but I don't know why. It's letting me, so I'm kind of determined to do it. Food? 
Food. Why do I have this food? Or it's not even food, it's just a bunch of moths. Okay, I got tons of moths. <laughs> I don't really think I need any more, so I'm gonna leave the basement, even though I'm still catching them. Whenever there's a million of them on the wall, I feel like I just have to catch them. It's like when you see a big old freaking wall of coins in Mario. You, see, you, you have to run through them all. Ooh, hello! I didn't know there was a moth running around. I tried to catch him. Oh no, he just spun me up again. Okay. Yeah, I gotta like food the moth. I gotta give him food. You want food, moth? You want to eat your brethren? Where am I? It's the very beginning! How do I keep ending up at the beginning? I have no sense of direction in this house. Oh, this door's open. Wait, is this the basement? Oh, this is what yeah, this is where I just was. Okay, never mind. I swear there was a different basement then. So there's only one locked door now and it's locked with a key. So I guess I gotta find a key. I don't know how to look for anything other than moths though. I don't know if you guys are new or not, but I haven't caught you, so I assume that means that you're new. Yeah, I'm only missing uh, four now, it looks like. There were stairs. There were sta there's stairs right there too. There, there were stairs in another spot too. I'm getting so lost in this place. I can't, can't keep my bearings on where I am. Usually I'm not too bad with direction. Ooh, give me food, give me food, give me food. Take the food. What do I do with the food? What is with the food? What are you with the food? <laughs> I'm gonna sound like such an idiot yelling this. Imagine you're just outside in my room and you're just hearing me. What is with the food? That was the weirdest out of context thing. Is that the beginning again? Yeah, the basement is at the beginning. Okay, I got you. Here's the stairs. Here's the stairs that I was talking about. I wonder if it's like I start catching moths, the thing kind of kind of like starts to sneak up on me. Like he's like, oh, I've been alerted. Someone's taking the moths. Key, key. Oh, recipe. Well, I can't make any more, right? I need another pot. I mean, I can't do anything with the food anyway. What with the food? I've been catching moths all freaking day. I've been catching moths all day. <gasps> I saw nothing. Why, uh, white and black witch moth, also known as the giant owl moth, a species of moth found in a blah, 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 that doesn't, blah, help me. More recipes. I don't need moth facts right now. I need a key. Imagine some guy at his computer. It's just like, he gets pop-up ads, but they're always moth facts. I don't need a moth fact right now. No, I don't need moth facts right now. Maybe it's attracted to light. Maybe if I put the light out. That's the only thing I can think of that would have any sort of thing to do with... I'll try restarting that sentence. Hey, here's the key. Well, I was gonna say the only gameplay reason there would be for putting out the, the match is maybe if it attracts them because it's light. I don't know, man. Anyway, I got the key so I can just head right on over to wherever that locked door was. Oh wait, I remember where it was. I remember, it was down here. All the way at the end. Let's go. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello? Ugh. Yes? Oh, hey. Can I have that? Talk. What? It looks like Siren Head. Hello, human. I'm the Moth King's helper. You see, the king can't speak like a human, unlike me. I know the human language. <laughs> I can also translate from the language of moths. Our master has disappeared from his house, and, and the Moth King is hungry. He's already tired of eating little moths flying by past him once he even almost ate me. The king needs to be fed urgently and with normal food. He needs soup, moth soup. There are many types of moths and if you mix them properly, you'll make a great soup. Please make soup and feed moth king, okay? Hey, moth king. Thanks, but one pot of soup isn't enough. I got millions of moths, man. Also, I don't know if the king liked this soup, so it's better will be if you make soup from other ingredients. I'll try to remember. I don't know which one I made, though. Is he gonna get mad and kill me if I make the same thing again? Okay, that's the one I did. So let's do that one. I think it stays on the one that I did previously. Thank you, but the king has not eaten for a long time, and two pots of soup is not enough for him. So make another batch of soup. I, th I think he'll have enough. 
Why does the Moth King eat other moths? Do moths eat other moths? Is that normal? Not enough ingredients? What? What? I'm missing ingredients? No way. No. I refuse to believe that. Guess I'll be back after I catch a million more moths. I already spent so much time cutting out me catching moths. I can't believe I need to get more. You know what would be really funny? Down in the comments, someone count how many times I've said the word moth or moths, plural, and uh, put, a, put a grand total down at the bottom. Wait, here's the different basement. Here's the different basement I was talking about. How did I not come across this? Yeah, I'll find some good rare moths here. Come on, don't tell me Big Moth is down here too. He's literally everywhere. Oh, another recipe. Okay, cool. Maybe I could feed him something different this time. No, you get away. You get away. Leave me alone. I want none to do with you, big old gross huge moth. You would think I could capture him. I don't know. He is a moth species, right? Oh, there's the picture. There it is. There's the one. I'm so lost. I'm so lost. Oh. oh, here we go. Please have the ingredients. Please. Okay, I did that one. Did that one. Okay, this one should be new. Yes, yes, yes. Moth King. Moth King. Yum. Thank you so much for feeding Moth King. He really liked your soups. So he has powers and we can finally leave this old house. And find yourself another place where there is normal food. I was glad to meet you, but we have to go. Goodbye. No way that's the ending. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, that, that was pretty cool. That was so cinematic. I loved that, that ending. Andre Berggren. That sounds familiar. I wonder if he's done anything else that I've seen before. He, oh, he did Psycho Unstable Journey. I played that. Uh, my friend Guinea Miles, he played Wheat Harvest Paradox, another thing that he made. I've seen some people playing LiDAR.exe. Okay, so he makes some games. Thought it sounded familiar. Okay, anyway. So yeah, that was a very unique game. I wouldn't say it's the best out there. Hold on, I don't, I, don't, I put, put my OBS down. I like to look at myself whenever I'm talking. Yeah, it's not the best game out there, but it's very unique. It has a cool style to it. The gameplay is a little annoying whenever you have to just like run around and collect moths and you're like, oh, I don't have enough moths. I gotta go get more. That's a bit annoying. But everything else around that, really cool, really unique. I never thought I'd be playing a moth horror game. <laughs> That's really all I got to say about this game. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. If you want to try it for yourself, I have a link for it down in the description. Also down in the description, I have links for my Discord channel and Twitter if you're interested in those. Also down in the description, go check it out. I have some links to some videos of mine that I think you might enjoy. Some playlists as well, including a playlist that has every indie horror game that I've ever played. We got oldest to newest, newest to oldest. Take your pick. There's there's tons that you can watch. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Helps in the algorithm, helps push the video to new people, and I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe if you're not already to see more content similar to this. I play indie horror games all the time, exclusively, actually. <laughs> so if that's what you're into, that's what you get. Thank you so much for watching. Can't speak. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.